the full rundown of Zoom Info Sales OS and how we can use it to export some leads over to HubSpot. So when you start out on your homepage, you're gonna have several saved searches. So you can see that we've got a bunch here. Um, the primary starting list is the one that is the public link and the ClickUp link, same page where uh, you have these videos. You click that and you're gonna enter in your zip codes for your franchised office. So under the locations tab, you can type in your zip codes here and this is also all in another video. But for example, we'll enter, enter in one of ours here at the home office. We got 22 contacts in construction and that's just the default industry that's listed here. Um, along with certain types of contact info. When you start clicking on these pluses, you can see that you can edit things. I'm telling this, I don't. it's okay if you just have at least one of these three, I wanna see your contact info, and I'm hoping to get as many cell phones as I can. You could also say and, and it would force it to only give me people where there's a cell phone number. So you can see how you can change the contact data. The same goes with the job title and role. You can change all of this. We've built it to simply have managers and above uh, in some of the HR operations and C-suite functions to help you find uh, the type of people that we think we'd like to do business with. Sometimes it ends up pulling like retail people that we might not work with, but tons of safety and HR, as you can see. That's the type of stuff we want. And I choose construction just because I think it's a, an easier market for us to sell into specifically uh, any type of subcontractor. But of course, you can change any industry that you wanna look at here by clicking the plus. And we, for example, we could go down to manufacturing and remove construction here. And we'll see that we've got eight people popping up in that one zip code that we gave. Furthermore, you can see actually some more filters and it gets to be a little heavy at this point where you can look into specific board member, college degree, web references, things like that. But I did want to show you that all of these are here for you should you want to look into more specific things. Now, once you have any one of these people Let's say we wanted to call on the controller and HR over here at Precision Mold and Tool. I can check this box, click this drop down, and select HubSpot. If you have not authenticated, it's going to ask you to authenticate again. You've probably already done that. So now this one contact can be exported. Bingo. And notice how it defaults to the HubSpot export here. So the next time I want to send someone over, Carol over at Colonial Iron Doors, click that, and send that as well. And if we moved over here, we would see these people showing up right here. And if we swing back over to Zoom Info, we can see again, uh, this is where we edit any filters. We can simply check these boxes for any of these people to export over to HubSpot. You can actually also do it at the individual level as well. Now, recall that we made some edits to the zip codes here. And remember that we, we chose the uh, primary list when we logged in. Well, we can save any new list. You can add all your zip codes, you can add a subset of them, right? If you wanted to focus in certain parts of your territory in, in one given run, if you will, uh, you can type that name here and you can subscribe to stuff too. If you wanna to be told when contacts are added and companies are added, that's great. If you don't wanna to be told that, that's great as well. You can do either one of those things. 
and simply type in the name and I can just uh, this is only one zip code so I'll call this 78216 and I'll save that and when I come back to my home page bam 78216 is saved where I can click right on it and come in and that's a full rundown of how we use ZoomInfo Sales OS for our uh, lead generation.